Hey folks, Jason Dukes here with Dirt Race Life. I've got to do some tire prep. I've got brand new tires to go on the car. Um, set up. A little bit of explanation here. This is the qualifying night for the Southern Street Stock Nationals. I broke out a separate video here just showing me like prepping the tires out and stuff. Uh, I had a few people ask about that, so I wanted to show how I was doing it. I got my multi-head grooving iron. I've got five blades in it. I've got them sticking out an eighth inch and I've got them about a quarter inch apart. All right, so they're just barely going to cut a real fine sight, but hopefully it's going to make my tires work immediately and be able to get some grip. And I'm just going to take, I'm going to run the top of every one of my lugs and then I'm going to turn around and just go across them. So just like this right here. I just let the stand do the work. This thing has worked really well for me. So I think I got about two years on it now. It just keeps on going. I think maybe I got between $250 and $300 in it. I've got all the links for this, the parts to put this thing together on my website. Like there's a link, you'll see a drop down. It says like a tire building stand list. And then I've got like all of the Amazon. This is really expensive Amazon stuff. You do have to be able to do a little welding, some fabrication, but it's not hard at all. Um, like I said, I put this one together in a couple hours and I made that video on it. And I know a lot of y'all have sent me pictures that have built this thing, you know. So, to me, it's the cheapest one you can build if you do it yourself. Yep. Drop her in there and let her cut. Of course, then going across. I just said it's super slow like that. Where I keep up with it. Yeah, that's about right face right and then i'm not cutting it all the way out to the edge just where i don't rip that out i'm just running that center just like that missed one there we go i set that motor to sit there and rotate it for me but that means i gotta keep up and like with these only a quarter inch apart like this and i'm making all these little bitty squares um gotta be careful i'm not going too deep you know if i set those knives more than an eighth of an inch it would want to start chunking out those little squares you know because they would just get super hot and bust out of there but uh like no deeper than i'm going time the night's over all of this siphon is liable to be gone and then you know i scuff the tire off and do it again i wanted to show y'all how i've been cutting these lugs apart my my buddy billy sturgill that's one of our sponsors and thank you billy i appreciate you sponsoring dirt race life but uh but anyway he showed me this pattern and i really like this i did it to all my other tires i'm gonna go ahead and do it to this one before it's over i'll probably do it to all of these but like right now for tonight i'm not going to cut them all up so I'm gonna cut this one, but let's see. So the bottom of the track, it is, I want it to go like this, so it sweeps out to push me in on the track. So it's this way underneath, it's this way on top of the tire. And all I'm doing is I'm cutting this chain. Whoop, that's a little hot, let me turn that down. There we go. I'm cutting this chain apart. That is a quarter inch deep, 3 16 of an inch wide. And I'm going from notch to notch. And I'm just gonna go across here just like that. Oh, that's better on heat. So I just take, and that's what I'm doing. All I've been doing is just cutting this chain apart. And you know, I did this and it seemed to help. Let's that rubber twist a little bit. So these are brand new tires. I'm not going quite all the way to the bottom. Like I said, just a quarter inch. Got a little log in right there. Yep. Love the look. Takes me about 20 minutes to do a tire when I do this. Not too hard. To get the rhythm going here. So 
So I'm just gonna go all the way down through there. Like I said, make it look like store bought. It was funny. I was racing at Camden and the tech was like, hey man, you gotta run H500 tires because they just looked exactly like a like a store bought pattern where I'm like, no, 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 they are, they are. It's just how I cut them. Oh, and I'm still going to sight this as well. 